another glamorous location. Stroll through the BBC's botanical garden. Ah, yeah. God! Did you ever feel it wasn't your day? I told the DG not to use that outside loo. I feel as if I've stumbled onto a meeting of the BBC Board of Governors. You don't think somebody at the BBC doesn't like me, do you? Hang on. Somebody over there may be able to give help, aid, succor. An exploding wall? Wasn't too painful, was it? And who are you? Visual effects. Head of visual effects. You know, I Welcome was to a sneaking suspicion you might be. True. What? You do not just explosions, you no. do effects for Doctor Who Doctor and... Doctor Who, all the model shots, all the science fiction stuff that you see. We also the do shaky spaceships and Blake 7. Oh, not shaky spaceships, never yeah. from us, no, always Steady. super spaceships, Steady, yeah. absolutely. You're not doing that plane flying overhead No, I'm sorry about the plane, I can't do anything about that. You can't one. blow it out of the sky by yeah. any chance. No, but if you'd like, I'll show you what it's all about. You can to take hold of that. Press the bar down in a moment when I'm clear, and you shall see. When you're clear? When I'm clear. Yeah. Not yet. Why are you running away like that? Not yet. Not yet. yet. What? No. Ow. Go. Some explosion, eh, fellas? <laughs> Lucky to get away with that. <laughs> Hello, Les. How you doing, my old friend? Nice to see you here. Rhubarb for dinner this evening, fellas? Very nice. Ah, the BBC visual effects. Nation shall speak unto nation. What have we here? Ah, a refugee from David Attenborough as I live and breathe. Poor little creature. And yet, the image of David. Great heavens! Alas! Poor Yorick! I knew him well. I knew him when he was head of light entertainment. And look here. That's more like it. That'll ease the block in promotion. I think it's, uh, you know, I could just sort of cut myself really seriously badly oh, here. Look, I just hope that... Mm. It's not very nice, really, is it? That's the understatement of the year. So that's how they do it. It's that's when you see them going like that. Yeah. yeah, you can ruin a lot of shirts like that. Excuse me, so that seemed unnecessarily destructive. Well, we have to demonstrate how to break a pane of glass safely. And how can you break a pane of glass safely without getting splinters? By using PS2, which is a resin that we have cast uh, for, or in, in replacement of um, so you glass. So crashing through it. That's right, yes. Yes. This is a likely looking. Is this a, don't tell me this is a fake. It is. You yes, know. it is. It's, it's a wax one. Yes, I've just broken it. We, ha we have a lot of um, yeah. uh, breakables, that? which is safe. This is uh, a breakable bottle. So really? You can, in a bar scene, you can break somebody over the head with it mm. safely. Go on. That hurt like hell. <laughs> What's that thing over there? Oh, that's one of our larger models from a comedy program. It's a syringe. Good um, grief. I suppose this is the kind of thing where they, they stick it in Les Dawson's bottom and say, this will hardly hurt at all, sir. Exactly. exactly. Yes. yes. Extraordinary thing, isn't it? Greetings, Master Wogan. And what's your name, little dog? They call me K-9. Have you done this all over the floor? Negative. Don't light up like that at me. Go on, take me to your doctor. Medication unnecessary, Master Wogan. Permit me to take you to your new leader.